Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make Jolly Rancher ring pops using the lid of your EOS container. So if you still have lip balm in your EOS and you'd like to make a Jolly Rancher ring pop, it works out perfectly because you don't have to throw away your lip balm or rush to use it or whatever because you just use the lid. So you're going to obviously require the lid, the base of a ring pop, and of course some delicious Jolly Ranchers. So I'm showing you here that we have a full lip balm and we're just gonna use the lid so it works out perfectly. So Jolly Ranchers, we have five delicious flavors. Green apple, watermelon, cherry, blue raspberry, and grape. So open that bag up and take out all your delicious Jolly Ranchers. And hopefully you get enough of each color. I've had it before where you only get some. So you are gonna require about four, maybe five Jolly Ranchers. And first we're going to start with our blue raspberry and put them just in a pile and make sure that we have enough colors by our blue EOS lid. Continue on with all those delicious flavors, ensuring that you have at least four, even five Jolly Ranchers. Okay, so make sure that you have a microwavable safe dish. And you guys, this is really important. This stuff gets hot, like hot, hot, hot. So you wanna make sure that you do this with an adult supervising you, because if you burn your skin, it's really gonna hurt, okay? So microwave safe dish that you can touch even though you're putting it in the microwave. And obviously unwrap those delicious hard candies and put them in the bowl. And again, be very careful because this gets hot. So I microwaved it for 15 seconds, doesn't really seem to do too much, but it does. Put it in for another 15 seconds and you'll notice a huge difference. I had to put it in for another five seconds after that to ensure that it was liquid enough that I could pour it into my EOS lid. So again, this stuff is gonna be hot. Adult supervision, recommended for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay, so one of the most important steps when making your sweet candy EOS treats is to grease the lid. So you want to make sure that your candy comes out really easily, you guys. So I just use some spray, some cooking spray, and I just sprayed in there. And the more, the better, actually, to make sure that you guys get all those little cracks and creases and stuff like that. So I'm just doing all the containers here so that I'm ready so I don't forget. And then we should be good to go to put all of our melted sugary Jelly Ranchers in there. As you can see, I'm using an egg carton to hold all my lids. If you have something similar, go for it. But this, these are gonna get hot and obviously you want them to be level so that your candy, when you pour it out, ends up being level. So you wanna make sure that you have something to hold onto your lids so that when you pour the hot candy in, it stays in there and doesn't spill all over the place. Okay, so here's my melted watermelon Jolly Rancher. So again, I'm using a microwave safe dish that I can actually touch. It doesn't get that hot, but the candy gets so hot, so be careful. And I have a little stick to pour it in. You wanna make sure, and I'm just showing you here, that if you pour it just to the, um, to where it's kind of like the egg shape ends, the ring pop stick won't actually stick in there. So you have to go a little bit further to where the sort of like the grate part screws onto. So you wanna go into that part, which makes it a little bit harder to get off, but we'll talk about that later. And this way your ring pop ring will actually stick in there really good. Okay, so moving on to delicious blue raspberry. Again, making sure that you guys have four or five candies, putting those in a microwavable dish, and just unwrapping those delicious shiny little candies. Again, being super careful, pour that in very, very, very carefully, making sure that you have a stir stick available to sort of cut the drizzle off. And just a reminder when you're microwaving it, 15 seconds, maybe another 15 seconds, and really be careful if you put it in for longer, as I did mine for another five, and it can boil. Not, I don't know, I haven't had it boil over before, but it does boil, it gets hot, hot, hot. So be very, very, very careful.
Okay, so moving on to green apple, delicious green apple. And you guys, for those who haven't checked out our Jolly Rancher EOs, that one is super popular right now and I actually make Jolly Ranchers just pouring them in the container of the EO so that you have it um, instead of the lip balm. So you can actually put a cover it. So you guys, if you find this something that you really enjoy doing, make sure that you guys check out our Jolly Rancher EO's candy treats. So instead of it being a ring pop, I actually filled the whole container with Jolly Rancher and then you can put the lid on as well. So it's kind of like having a lollipop that you can put the lid on and it lasts a long time because again, it's about five Jolly Ranchers in one little container and it's a delicious treat to always have in your pocket or in your purse or whatever you want. So once you're done making all your ring pops, you're gonna put it into the fridge for, I put it in I think for like a half an hour just to make sure that it was hard at least. So I didn't wanna mess around with pulling them out too soon. So just make sure you are putting in a little bit longer just to be safe. Okay, make sure all the candy is nice and level and then you're good to go. So here I have them already out and I am gonna talk you through this. So I tried pulling them out, I tried twisting them out and it doesn't work. I even got a little knife to get under it and actually broke my green one, so I'm in the process of making another green one. So the key to this is to let your ring pop sit in hot water. You can completely submerge it for maybe one minute and you can check it every now and then and it should come out pretty easily when it's ready. So again, don't twist it, don't pull it. If you really want to go for it and try like a knife if you're a little bit older and you know that you're going to be safe, you can do it. But just to warn you, it will potentially break your ring pop. So the safest, best, most successful method is to stick that ring pop in hot water, let it sit for a bit, and you should be good to go. 
Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. If you haven't subscribed, make sure that you do so so that you can keep up to date on all of our next videos. And if you haven't done so, make sure that you guys check out our Jolly Rancher candy treat. So that's where I pour the candy straight into the container and you have a delicious treat. Thanks again for watching this video, everyone.